I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, sorry you're seeing this exact same face again and there's still one more video I'm gonna film exactly like this, but you guys don't care. I don't think so. And if you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, today's video is going to be more of a book talk because this is a sequel to a book. And I feel like I really can't non-spoilery talk about it. But it is A Court of Mist and Fury by Miss Sarah J. Bass. I will say that I really loved it. I don't love it as much as I loved the first one. But I still gave it a 5 out of 5 stars because while I don't love it as much as the first one, it's nothing to do with where the story went. Because it's one of those things where it's like, I love what happened. I love how everything happened and how it played out and just everything. But there was things that I just like, I suffered through. And I'm just like, oh, I, I can't give it anything less than a five out of five stars because I thoroughly loved everything. Even when favorite did get annoying at times. And I'll go into detail that in my book talk part. But I loved it, I really did, and that's all I can say for non-spoilery reasons. If you haven't continued it, you should. I mean, because I adored the first book, like, I really adored the first book. But that's all I can say for that, so let's pop this over here. Now let's get into the spoilery things. My heart broke the moment I found out that Tamlin and Pharaoh were having issues. What do you mean? He... Uh, I was getting really frustrated with that. Do I disagree with what Tamlin did? Not entirely, because the same way that Feyre was trying to go through stuff, Tamlin, who's been dealing with it, Amarantha, trying to, Amaranth? I forget how to pronounce the bitch's name. Anyway, he's been having to deal with her for how long? A very long time. He doesn't trust her. Look at everything he, she did to his core and just all of those things, and I understand why Tamlin wanted her to stay inside. Should he have at least told her that the Adder was trying to get her or that if any of the other lord, uh, you know, the court lord, whatever you call him, uh, which McCallit found out about the fact that she possesses a little bit of each of their powers, he, yes, he should have told her. But do I disagree with everything that happens? No, he wanted to keep her safe and she kept trying to like push herself out there. Should he have let her go, at least if it was with him? Yes, at least with Lucien, yes. But I did get upset that it's like, homegirl, you only suffer three months under the mountain. And all these people have been dealing with her and all of their antics for so much longer. Why are you complaining? So, um, yes, my heart broke to a million pieces when she wasn't sure if she wanted to marry him. It broke to a million pieces when I found out that like he just takes her and then she decides to leave. Don't get me wrong. I was upset with Tamlin, but like I understood the reason why he did everything that he did. I understand that he's still trying to get through this because yes, she didn't have to kill. Uh, he didn't have to kill those two innocent Faze in order to release him. But he had to stand back and watch all these things happen to her because if Amaranth really did find out how much they were meant to him, she would have been dead way before she even had a chance to. Now, Resand. I think I liked him a little bit more in the first book because I have a weakness for bad guys that have weaknesses, but he's not a bad guy. He's a good guy pretending to be a bad guy to save his people. Do I commend him for it? Hell yes, he's amazing. I liked him a little bit less because of it though. i sorry, I am like the only person that will probably say I still love Tamlin even with all the fuck ups he did at the end of the book. I was just like, why? Like, why is she so important? Oh, I don't understand. It's just he really did fall in love with her. And she, uh, but that was one thing that I really did appreciate when she first or she's with Resan and they're talking about like her love for Tamlin and stuff. I like that she admitted to herself that she pretty much would have loved anyone who did what Tamlin did for her and her family at the time that it happened. She was in poverty. Her family wasn't being taken care of properly because she's uh, she could only do so much. She can't do everything. So I like that she realized that much, that maybe it wasn't love, but it was just the idea of him and what he did for her and her family that made her love him so much. I really did appreciate that because it did make her falling in love with Rhysand a little bit better and when it was revealed that they were mates I was like 
Ah, uh, yes, this is perfection. I really did love that. Don't get me wrong, I still love Tamlin, but I hope Tamlin finds his love elsewhere. If Sarah J. Mass kills him off, I'm going to be really pissed. I'm going to be real, real pissed. Okay, I'm just like, don't kill him off. I, I, I'm worried about that. And then her being with them and then being able to control her powers. I love that she struggled trying to learn it as opposed to, oh, everything came magically to her. No, she, she tried and sometimes nothing came out of her. And I really appreciated that. Favor though, when she got annoying, it was when she was always like going through her like pressures and the things that happen under the mountain it's like all these people have been through more than you and you don't like i like the part where reese and refers to that how she's like oh you know i could be your shoulder to lean on and he's like like what you do to so uh, so many others it's like yeah favorite don't you realize that they are all going through things they have all been through more things than you and granted what you went through is no less but it's no more than what they went through and i feel like she needed to tone it back a little but I love the progress that that brought her character and how it like rounded her off really well. I loved how, oh my god, them getting caught at the end trying to get the cauldron. And I love that I was so right about Ian. I did not trust her. I was, I still don't trust her. Who knows what else is going to happen with her. But how she sold out Feyre's sisters. I love Nesta and I'm seek, I'm really hoping that like Nesta and Cassian are a thing that happens oh my god and Lucian <laughs> with Elaine I got so freaking excited when that was revealed I was just like yes yes thank you so much I seriously just adored it I love Lucian even with his fault I love Lucian and another thing that I really did enjoy was how Feyre gave the water nymph for whatever you call her the jewelry so she could pay and stuff and how they were saved when they were getting the first book from uh what's his name the summer lord okay i'm sorry he was he wasn't mentioned that long often i love that i loved the family dynamic though so much between uh Rhysand and Amran and Cassian and Azrael and Moor and I just I love that Amran uh she's like a vampire obviously homegirl survives off blood so I wonder is like are you gonna tie in more mystical creatures to this other than just the variety of fae that there are I love the world I loved the plot development so much in this I love that it became like it's still relating to the first book because obviously in the first book the like evil person was really amaranth but now we're getting to a much worse version of her which is king highburn and those freaking um mortal queen bitches oh my goodness i did get a little bit confused at that part because i thought it was the vieja the old lady that gave them the book but no it was the blonde one and how she was saying no she's not actually sick be wary of them and then she gets freaking skewered in front of Feyre. that broke my heart the laris i mean come on like I love that Rhysand did that for his people and his land and he has hopes and dreams of getting them to be at peace and just like just for everything to be okay like I love that I love that Miriam I hope that it's a thing that comes up more Miriam with the other guy oh my god and then Julian's back and I'm just over here like holy crap what's gonna happen now that fair is with Tamlin and Lucian knows she's lying and I'm just here like oh what is going to happen i cannot wait for the next book thankfully i don't have to wait as long as other people who literally read it as soon as it came out i only have to wait till may i don't have to wait a whole year it's the struggle is real though because like i want the next book really really bad it's ridiculous how bad i want it but those are the things that i'm just like what oh my goodness the steaminess in this book was um But oh, there was just so many things that happened. But those were the things that like I felt like really I like attached to and got stuck on. I love Azriel and I hope Azriel finds his me. And I'm just like, I loved everything. And now I'm just super excited to see what happens. Like, is Tamlin going to find out that freaking Feyre is a high lady now as opposed to, you know, the high lord. And she is Rhysand's equal. And... I'm just excited to see all of that and how it plays out. Don't get me wrong, I love Feyre with Rhysian, but I also really did love Feyre with Tamlin. It's just Feyre has changed. She's went through changes. She has 
that whole like transition to being who a high fae now is a big deal and I understand that. I loved the just everything and I'm super happy with how this book came out. I think I still really prefer the first one though just because again I adored Tamlin and I loved that love story with Tamlin. I don't know why. I'm, I'm a suckler for it. But I really, really love this book and that's all I'm going to say because if not I could stay here forever. But I think I mentioned the things that like really stuck out to me and yeah. I love the character development. Vera had her annoying ass moments but I think she went through a lot of things and I think she understood that and it just, uh, it was good. I loved everything. So what were your thoughts on the book? Comment them down below and I'll see you in my next video. I've been smiling way too much. My cheeks hurt. It was so good though. I'll see you next time. Bye.